This missile called Sarmat, or Satan II, is the most advanced nuclear missile in the world. Its warheads are impossible to intercept. The fact is that this is the first missile in the world that can strike the territory of a probable enemy through the South Pole. For NATO and Canada, this was an unpleasant surprise. The main missile defense force, the NORAD system, is designed to intercept missiles that are launched through the North Pole. On the southern side, the U.S. has no warning systems or missile defense systems. Therefore, U.S. satellites can detect a SARMAT launch, calculate its trajectory, but will not be able to defend themselves. Some of the missiles are based at a missile range in the Kaluga region. These are the so-called nuclear glades. According to the tests conducted, the time of approach of the missile to London will be about 8 minutes to New York, about 20 minutes. The range of firing Sarmat is 18,000 kilometers or more than 11,000 miles. This is enough to fly around the planet one and a half times. The maximum speed in the atmosphere is 17,982 kilometers per hour or more than 11,000 miles. The exact number of warheads is classified, but there is information that the missile can carry on board up to 15 warheads with a power of 750 kT each. If that many landed on New York, it would look like this. In addition to warheads, a substantial weight limit would be set aside for traditional missile defense, overcoming systems such as decoys. These are decoys that look like warheads, but carry no nuclear charge. They are needed to fool the missile defense system. The missile is able to overcome the missile defense system by giving the engines almost as much power as is needed to put the warheads into a circular orbit. The missile can attack the territory of the enemy country not by the shortest, but by any direction, including through the South Pole, bypassing the deployed missile defenses designed for the trajectories of conventional ICBMs launched from Eurasia through the North Pole, which would require the enemy country to costly deploy not fragmentary, but circular missile defense. Russia may have between 60 and 100 silos in which to mount this new missile. This number is enough to wipe out several major European countries. France and the United Kingdom, for example. Sarmat is essentially a revival of the universal missile concept. In other words, any orbital bombardment ICBM can launch not only warheads, but also satellites into orbit. So most likely the decommissioning of the Sarmat ICBM at the end of its service life will be through civilian space launches. The opportunity to recoup the large investment made in silo ICBMs while also profiting from commercial launches of satellites using end-of-life ICBMs is very important from an economic point of view and is being seriously considered by the Russian government. Despite the power and strength of this missile experts at the Pentagon and the UK Ministry of Defense saw no point in further escalating the means of attack or retaliation. Russia and other nuclear powers have had enough resources to turn each other to ashes since the days of nuclear bombers. That is, for over 60 years, said Julian Lewis, chairman of the British Parliament's Defence Committee.